begin, gentle seekers and witches. Wonderful greetings, gentle seekers and witches, to Hecate's Library of Mystical Arts. If you're new to this video library, this is my way of greeting to you. If you are a returning gentle seeker or witch, thank you so much for checking out this video book to expand your plethora of wisdom. Allow me to bewitch your mind. I am called Jose Pablo. I am a professional witch who specializes in divination, the mystical arts, and libraires. Today's video book is Prologue Lesson Number 7, also known as Video Book Number 8, Upside Down, A Lesson in Reading Reversed Cards. In this video book, I'll be teaching you five different methods. Four of those methods are standard or common ways of reading the cards. The fifth way is my own method of how I read with cards upside down. Should you choose to use any of these methods, to incorporate in your practice and expand your plethora of wisdom, expand your intuition. Now, keep this in mind, gentle seekers and witches. Not every card slinging witch or gentle seeker reads with cards that are upside down. This is your own practice. This is your own craft. You do not have to read with reversal cards to be a card slinging witch expert. But if you want to explore more, expand your plethora of wisdom don't know where to start with reversals, or even you want a new method of reading with reversals, this video book is just for you. Before we go further into the video book, let us explore the card of the day. The card of the day is brought to you by Forest of Enchantment Tarot, written by Lorena Weatherstone and illustrated by Marilla Allwood. Now, if you recall from the last two video books, I told you that this deck has a different court system. We have visions, we have challenges, we have boons, and we have spells as part of our courts. So, if we get a different court system, we will need to know where we go. Last week, it was the Eight of Boons. Boons equals pentacles. In case you don't remember, check out last week's video book. If you were coming from two weeks ago, you will recall that we had the challenges, which is the sword suit. So, we just have visions and spells. And we also have the major arcana to deal with. In case if you do not follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you will not know what they are. I would suggest you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. My links are down below in the description box where you can find it. Also too, it is located at the end of each video book, the name where you can find them. So with that being said, gentle seekers and witches, let us draw today's card of the day. Oh, it's a reverse card, and we're talking about reversals today. All right. Today's card of the day is the Two of Visions in Reverse Position. According to my esoteric knowledge, the Two of Visions in Reverse Position means you are hiding your best friend from the world. You do not want your best friend to go out there because you want to keep them for yourself. Am I wrong? Or maybe you and your best friend are separated. You haven't talked in a while. This is your reminder that you need to connect back. You need to find your best friend deep within these woods and support one another. The equivalency of the Rider Waite Smith deck from the Two of Visions is the Two of Cups. If you see something different, gentle seekers and witches, please feel free to share it in the comments down below of this video book. I, as well as many other gentle seekers and witches, would love to expand our plethora of wisdom with your own personal insights. Let us begin, gentle seekers and witches. Let us begin today's lesson by saying that there are multiple ways of how you can read a reverse card. Basically, what I mean by reverse card is this. 
the car that you have has turned upside down. What do you do when you get this? Do you freak out? Or do you have a way of knowing what to do? Or maybe when you get a reverse card, you turn it upright because you do not read with reversal cards. So these are five different ways of how you can handle these kind of cards. The first way that I'm going to teach you is external versus internal. What's going on in the outside world versus what's going on inside. So if I'm going to take the two of visions, and I was going to take the method of external versus internal, I would say that you are not connecting with your friends emotionally. You want them for yourself, you feel better, you feel hurt, because they are in the outside world now, and you have feelings for them, or you usually spend your time together, but now they're spending their time with someone else, and you don't like that. So that's the external versus internal method. The next method I'm going to teach you is what are you presenting to the world versus what are you hiding from the world. If that was the case, then we will know how we can handle life situations. How can we handle life situations when they are presented to us? So, let's take the Weaver of Challenges. Do you remember this card from two weeks ago, Gentle Seekers and Witches? In case if you don't, we had this card reversed on the 1st of May. Now, upright, this card is very smart. She's very calm, collected. She's very logical. She's intuitive. But she uses more her logic than anything else. However, she's not as cold as you think. She uses her logic to discern the truth from you. Because you can't lie to her. But then, what are we hiding? Well, we're hiding our thoughts. We are hiding our motives. We are hiding our brains, so say. We are hiding our thoughts because we do not want other people to know what we're thinking. This is where the cold comes in. This is where, when the Weaver challenges is reversed, she is rigid, so say. Because it's like, oh, are you going to hurt me again? Should I trust you? Because you have hurt me. But I'm not going to let you know that. I'm going to be like, well, carry on. Let's see what you do next. The third method I'm going to teach you is gathering and receiving versus resisting and blocking. Now, in this method, they can be in tune with the other two methods. But I will reassure you that they're their own methods. Let's take, for example, the Eight of Boons from last week. If we're going to do this upright, we are gathering the fact that we are perfecting our craft. We are trying to be perfect, so we're gathering that. We're gathering the fact that we are hard at work. That's great! But then all of a sudden, uh-oh, it's reversed. We're resisting the hard work, or we are resisting the fact that we are perfectionists and we need to get this done. We're so dedicated, we're so focused, and we don't see anything else. We are resisting any emotional connection, we are resisting any ties to family, we are resisting any way possible, or we're blocking the fact that we are so ingrained in our work that nothing else matters to us just hard work, hard work, hard work, and we're working and working and working and until we burn ourselves out. We are working and working and working until we burn ourselves out. So that can be a problem for a lot of us. I know I go through this quite a bit. This is why I like this card upright, because it's telling me that, okay, I'm putting the hard work in, I'm doing great, but if I see this card in reverse, then it's telling me, okay, maybe I need to take a step back and see another perspective instead of all this hard work because not everyone's liking it or I'm not happy with the progress is going because I'm so nitty gritty with being perfect and everything like that. So you need to be careful of that. 
the fourth way that I'm going to teach you is all about energy. You either have just right, or you have too much or too little energy. Now, how could that be possible? Well, let me show you. Let's take the strength card from this deck. Now, if it was upright, I would tell you that you're having courage, that you are taming your animal instincts very well. Everyone is all right. You are in balance with your inner self and you have control of that. Now, let's take the method of too much, if it's reversed. If we have too much, that means you have too much control, that you, your insides are tearing yourself apart and you don't know how to handle it. The animal in you wants to come out because it can't control the feelings, it can't control the rage that you're feeling. Okay, that's a bit too much, that's a too excessive. Well, let's dial it back. Uh, okay, you're calm again. Good. It's the monster, huh? <laughs> Good for you. Now let's look at this card again, but this time too little. Mm. You don't want to control anything in the inside. You're just letting your emotions run wild. You don't have a care in the world. You're too paralyzed with that because you're like, okay, well, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overthinking, I'm overfeeling my feelings. I can just do whatever feelings they want to feel. No, you need to have control of that. You need to have control of the animal within because having too little control, then maybe you're going to be impulsive and do something that you regret. And if that's the case, well, you're going to wake up the next morning feeling sorry for yourself. The final way that I'm going to teach you is the way I view my reversal cards. Light versus shadow. Now, mind you, everyone has different definitions when it comes to those. Too much light can penetrate the darkness really well, but it'd be too blinding or be really like, I can't handle all this positivity or I, I can't handle the sunlight of my life. Versus the darkness, well, if it's just right, then you can see things. Have a little bit of light, and you can see a little bit more. But if it's too dark, then things will blur in the shadows and scare you or hurt you in some way. So, let's take what you just learned, light versus shadow, with a card. Uh, a good card to have. The wise woman. The wise woman is known as the High Priestess. In the light aspect, we got the feelings of being intuitive. We get to see more than we need to see. We're able to incorporate our wisdom and actually trust ourselves because we know better. But then, we got the shadow. Maybe it's telling us, oh dear, I, I don't trust what I know. I doubt. So there's the personality coming in, the external versus internal. Because you present to yourself like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what how to say the words. And then internal, you're like, oh no, I don't know. Are people going to trust me? Are people going to listen to what I say? You're gathering the secrets. You're receiving secrets from the outside world. You're blocking the secrets, you're resisting the secrets because you don't want to know what lies ahead. You're resisting the visions that you have gotten, I should say. The energy is just right. Being intuitive, having great secrets embarked on your intuition, and you're very intelligent very mysterious and a good oh you're being too much with being secretive now you're hiding what you're really thinking you <laughs> you're not doing well are you now people are like I don't know who you are or geez you're open book but I can't trust you with my secrets because you will spill them right <laughs>
with that being said, this is the end of prologue lesson number 7, also known as video book number 8, Upside Down, a lesson in reading reverse cards. Let me know down in the comments, are you going to read with reversal cards? If so, what method you're going to try? If you already read with reversal cards, which method do you do? Is it a method that I have mentioned in this video book? And if not, share it down in the comments. I would love to learn more to explain my plethora of wisdom with that. <sighs> in the description box below, you will find where you can purchase Forest of Enchantment Tarot. That's Llewellyn Worldwide and Magic.com. You will also find in the description box where you can donate to Hackett's Library of Mystical Arts. Or if you would like to book a private reading session with me, there is email, Facebook, Instagram, and so many other ways that you can do so. Please reach out if you need guidance for whatever reason. I am here for you. I'm here to support you. Thank you so much for checking out this video book. If you like this video book for your own library, or you want to come back to learn about reversals, or you really liked it because you learned something from this video book, give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with Hecate's Library of Mystical Arts and its Odyssey, please hit the subscribe button. If you want an owl to deliver to your inbox when another video book is ready for you to check out, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for checking out this video book. I, as well as many other gentle seekers and witches, look forward to your own personal insights to expand our plethora of wisdom. Keep making magic in your everyday life. Blessed be.